The time when the Prophet stood at position of this nature, when he delivered a very important and wonderful sermon, uh, which uh, comprises uh, the honor of uh, the sanctity of uh, blood, that is lives and souls of uh, human beings, and also sanctity of uh, wealth, and also the position of uh, uh, women in Islam. We congratulate ourselves for witnessing best days of the year, that is the first 10 days of uh, uh, the Hijjah, which the Prophet, including the day of Arafat, with the Messenger said that the best dua is the one offered on the day of Arafat, and the best one can say, or had the Prophet himself, himself and other messengers before him said, was la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la, 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 uh, wahdahu la sharika la. Then, fasting of uh, Arafat, which uh, many of us observed yesterday, the Prophet said that it expects the sins of this year and the incoming year. We should also accept glad tidings for the coincidence of Juma and Eid today. It is light upon light because Juma is a special day and also this is another special day in which so many acts of worship are being carried out, especially the rites of heart and also offering sacrifice which the Prophet said that is the best act of worship that a Muslim can offer on this day. We should also note that whenever there is this type of coincidence, whoever attend or witness it is not compulsory on him to attend Juma. However, if one chooses to attend Juma uh, Eid and also Juma, it is accepted. However, for those of us who choose not to participate in Juma, they must observe Zuhur prayer in their houses. However, there are some scholars who are saying that no Zuhur prayer, no Juma on this type of day, this is not true. Again, we are calling on parents to discharge the obligation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala charges them, taking care of their uh, families, especially on this time of days, whereby youth and women take it as a license to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are also calling on the leaders to do more in making sure that there is peace and stability and security in this our dear nation, and also to confront uh, kidnapping, killings, and so on that is threatening the lives and properties of the citizens of this uh, country, threatening business, threatening agriculture, and many other things that uh, human beings uh, uh, are supportive to human beings. Lastly, also, we should fervently continue asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clear away and to take away the corona COVID-19 pandemic, which is ravaging the whole world. This, is, this should be done through fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also repentance and staying away from uh, evil deed because the greatest act, act that brings about pandemic is what engaging and indulging in committing uh, sins. The Prophet Sallallahu has confirmed this. We should also take note of the preventive measures that the NCDC in particular and the Ministry of Health uh, are teaching and are propagating are telling us such as putting on face masks, washing of our hands, and uh, many others which are well known to us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clear away this pandemic, to save us, to make our nation uh, safe, to protect us, and to bless all of us, and to accept from us, accept from our hujaj. May Allah the Most High accept from us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan.